The MCU has returned this week. A massive commodification of comic book intellectual property continues. And with a history of being consistently mostly decent, mostly fun, which takes some occasional risks, it's also been criticized as uh, becoming formulaic and generic and turning into American military propaganda. And they're kind of both right. WandaVision isn't entirely either of those things. With two of the oddest and least developed film Avengers, with decades of adaptable stories, they managed to make two episodes so far of boring, meaningless, fake television. I'm Dan Umthen, and this is the Doomcast. I don't often give out fully bad reviews or negative reviews because I don't want this to be about things that I hate, but about things that I love and celebrating those things that I love. And I really wanted to like WandaVision so far. I really, really did. And I really tried. Uh, in fairness, it just, it isn't over. I get that. And there's like six to eight episodes to go. So it might shape into something that's really good that I'm really happy about. And that would rule because I really like both of these characters in comics and in the MCU. But God damn it, if they do make six more episodes that are amazing and brilliant, they just wasted an hour in total of my life with bad rehashings of Bewitched and Dick Van Dyke. And don't tell me that those are clever nods to classic TV. Those were, hang on, just... Those were two dully written episodes with moments, mere seconds of development of the actual plot and the real action of what's undoubtedly going on with AIM, I'm sure, uh, having both or one of them trapped somewhere or outside of time or something. So far, I don't even care. Because if that is the core story, then that's what they should be advancing. It's a dumb pastiche, and the first two episodes should have just been one episode that was 15 minutes long. If the core of the plot development can be understood in the most recent 10 second recap, it wasn't actually worth watching the episode, was it? This is your first outing post Far From Home, post Endgame. I get that there's two other movies that should have come out, and it's not over, but I also feel like I just watched two episodes of TV that I'm supposed to trust are developing into something because they're good and they're weird. Weird? Bitch, please, this isn't Alejandro Yodorowsky's WandaVision. This isn't Takashi Miike's WandaVision. This isn't David Lynch's WandaVision. If it was, I would like it, and I clearly do not. This is someone over at Disney who pitched an overlong movie into a series and is trying too hard to be weird for the sake of being weird, and it isn't even fucking weird at all. It's not weird? Great. A helicopter and a guy in a bee suit. I already figured it out. It's AIM. Who gives a shit? It's okay if this worked for you. Or if you felt that it was fun and had entertainment value, that's fine. People can think different things, but for me, it suffers from the same problem as 60s sitcoms. There's no real conflict, no real character development, no real change to a status quo after an episode. The pitch is just the concept, is the narrative, so it's not really a narrative, it's just display. It's merely just rehash. It feels like they're saying, remember this stuff that happened before you were born? And trying to convince you that that's clever or a plot. You know, the same thing that the last two seasons of Stranger Things did. Yes, I said it. The problem I have is being expected to like a franchise of something because it's a franchise, and not call it out when it's not actually well written, but lazy, overlong development disguised as an homage to television that I could just watch if I wanted to feel nostalgic. If anything, it should be 90% subversion of trope, and a primary plot development, and 10% wink and clever reference instead of the inverse. How the hell am I going to do this now? Ow! Oh God, that's not gonna work. Look, we're in the middle of a fucking pandemic and political insurrection, and there's probably another coup happening today, literally, as you're watching this. What is it, fucking Tuesday? Look, all of the series that you could have pushed back Disney Plus, maybe this was the one. I'm glad you didn't credit Tom King for the premise you clearly poorly gutted and rehashed because you should really go and read that whole thing and House of M instead of all the rest of this if this is what this is actually going to be like. I know I'm way over the top here. It wasn't actually that bad, Dan. No, it wasn't, but it also wasn't actually that good. Jesus Christ. Christ, this hurts. Anyway, if it develops into something that I like and is good, great. I'll come back here, I'll eat my words, and I'll duly acknowledge that I'm being a cranky bitch because I am.
But listen, we've all got too much and too little on our plates at the same time right now. I'm tired, I'm cranky, I need a nap and a Take 5 bar because those are the best candy bar that's ever existed and you all know it, so do I. But you know what I don't need? Episode 3 to be a long, pointless homage to Roto with a single frame of Modoc or the Scientist Supreme spliced in. Forget, I, somebody went to the school of J.J. Abrams and David Lindelof not knowing how the fuck to write a story. Whatever. I'm glad that they cast Fred Melamed uh, because I ironically truly love that man. He's fantastic. Um, but you should go read Tom King's The Vision and House of M and Bendis' New Avengers and Mark Wade's Avengers arc where The Vision tries to steal and murder Baby Kang because those are all better than this has been so far. Um, and I do hope to be proven wrong. I hope it ends up being a fantastic series. Uh, but this has been the Doomcast. Uh, a more entertaining and weird five minutes than the whole of WandaVision so far. Uh, come back next week when I talk about Detemptive Chimp or some crazy shit. Actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do the Doomcast on. Thanks. Take care.